So today's project is, I think, I'm going to uh, start on the bar top. So over here we got the bar top going. Just turn our camera. Yeah, as you can see, we got the bar top over here. And um, right now it's upside down. We threw a coat of uh, white, uh, like a primer paint on the underside here. We do have to put a finished coat of paint on that. But I think right now I'm going to uh, flip this over and we're going to start laying out the uh, planking for the uh, bar top itself. Uh, then I'm going to have to uh, go over to our wood supplier. I didn't get all the. Uh, all of the uh, mint, uh, not mint, but all the walnut that I wanted. So I have some here in stock, but I got to get some more walnut for the armrest and uh, particularly for the swim platform. Yeah, that's going to be one inch thick walnut. Uh, that I got to go and pick up that for sure. <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, I'm going to flip this over and we'll uh, start the, the thinking process for laying out the planking on the bar top. So I will. Uh, Tune you in in a little bit once I get the bar top flipped over and I collect my thoughts. Adios. Okay, Ken Bob here. Alright, we got our bar top flipped over. I'm going to uh, readjust the camera in a minute. Yeah, I'm sitting here talking to the camera and all of a sudden it's in the picture mode. So it took a picture of me and uh, I'm just sitting here talking to the camera. So we'll try this again. So anyways, I got, I got the bar top flipped over. And uh, I had to go back to the, uh, some time ago on the uh, uh, drawing table, uh, I had to lay out the underside of the bar top. And I'm thinking that right now I need to cut that exactly how it has to be. So I'm going to uh, use the router and uh, run along and uh, follow this exact contour that the bar base has to be, or the, the underlayment if you will. So I got to cut that exact, then when I lay on my uh, planking, I can then use this piece of plywood as the uh, line to run the router on to actually finish cut the, uh, the uh, bar top uh, planking itself. So that's the basic plan, what we're going to do, and I had to go back and uh, uh, check the uh, drawing that I made some time ago on the bar top. So we're going to uh, just go back and recheck those dimensions as we as we roll through. And oh, the one thing I wanted to tell you, yeah, I bought this uh, piece of plywood. It's actually a birch piece of plywood. I paid like ninety bucks for it. Wow. Hindsight, I should have gotten something less expensive because really the majority of this is all going to get covered up. Although I was going to use a portion of this for the back bar, but I got to tell you, this, uh, the quality of this plywood, I bought it at one of the big box stores, I'm not going to tell you who, but it's junk, absolute junk. The ply, the top ply is so god awful thin that you sneeze at it and it, uh, it tears or it, it, it comes off. And then um, I have this sitting in the sun, uh, the other day when I laid it, first laid it out, and uh, the top portion of uh, one of the sections, it just bubbled all up as if there was no glue on the, uh, the uh, top ply or the finished ply uh, of the plywood. Anyways, very, very disappointed in the quality of these plywoods that uh, you have at the big box stores. Absolute junk. So I was telling that to my uh, one of my suppliers, a hardwood suppliers, and he says, oh yeah, that's that's true, it's hard to find good quality. You need to go to uh, American Plywood, they're on, uh, where are they, on John R. and 75 in, here in Detroit area. So uh, I bought a piece of plywood there, much better quality, I'm very happy with that, so uh, I'll continue to use them as far as the source for my uh, plywood on any future projects. So anyways, the point of my story is that I was going to use this on the back bar, but it's such junk that now I'm going to use the piece I cut out for the finish. I'm going to put that on the bottom and make that a, 
like an underlayment, if you will. And I'm gonna. I hope I have enough uh, sapili planking left over after doing the bar top that I'll have enough to do the uh, the back bar. So I hope I have enough. We'll see how that. We'll see how that works. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave the camera rolling and. Uh, I'm going to uh, get the router set up. Well, maybe I shut it off while I get the router set up. And then we're going to uh, All right, cut so this to the exact uh, dimensions that it has Start this up. Okay. Well, I'm just going to turn the, this uh, off and I'll get back to the router. in. Thanks for watching. And um, got the router bit in. And uh, we're going to uh, this is, uh, got a uh, bearing follower on it. I guess you call that a bearing follower. And we're just going to use this as a straight edge and uh, run the router along that straight edge and it'll uh, track and, make, and clean up this edge of the plywood. So that is the plan. And uh, see, how that, uh, see how that works here. Yeah, that's doing a really super job. Yeah, I had, my board wasn't long enough, my straight edge, so I had the, had the, the clamps here a couple different times, moving once or twice. Not a problem. Okay, that just came out really nice. I like that. All right, so we'll just run the rest of this down here.
got two more cuts to make uh, on the back end here, square cuts. May as well do those right now while we got a nice flat straight edge, and then we'll do our uh, inside and outside curve. the square over there just to make sure that back corner is nice and square it appears to be now looks like it was off by a little bit okay well let's make this final cut here
All right, looks like Rob is going out to cut the back 40, so we won't have to listen to the lawnmower anymore. All right, good news, yay! All right, the thing we got going here is, uh, you'll notice I got the center line mark on our uh, template here. I don't know if you can see that. Center line. And I got it marked top. Same with this other, uh, the, uh, this uh, inside curve. You got to make sure the center line is lined up and it, that the top is uh, up is up all the time. Because I'm not sure when I made this arc, it was basically a sort of a freehand arc. And, uh, the left hand side and the right hand side may not be exactly the same. So we want to make sure that we always have our templates up. Uh, if we have one flip, it'll look, it'll look close, but it's not going to be an exact fit. So anyways, a uh, little digression there. All right, so we need to get this lined up on our mark and uh, get a couple of clamps in place. Yeah, a couple of clamps in place here. Looks like you got her. Let's see, I think that I'm happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Very happy with that. So now we'll get our. Uh, I don't know if my uh, router will fit over here. We're going to have to uh, put another clamp over here someplace. Uh, I uh, off the corner here. Hold everything nice and tight together here. Yeah, no, 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 no. One more clamp just for the heck of it. I don't know why is that so gosh awful hard? Hmm. clamp here. I don't know. I actually don't remember dropping these. Uh, turns a little hard. I'm a little disappointed in that. Okay. Still functional. Don't use it. Not going to throw it away. Alright. I'll finish this cut up.
set this down. Now, clamps. Okay, so now we got to get this lined up. And actually what I'm going to do, this is so thin here that sometimes this moves a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is lay this, this uh, outside arc on our line. And this outside arc on our line. I'm going to bring the uh, inside arc up to it. Up to it. See that little bit of movement there? Yeah, that's what I don't like. What I'm going to have to do on this is uh, put a board here to hold that there. I can't, I don't know the way to clamp it. So, I'm going to grab a, grab something here. To, got this all laid out like we want it. This back on the shelf. Piece of cherry, we'll use that later somewhere. Don't know where. 
Yeah, the thing is, I keep all these little scraps of wood because I think, oh, you know, I could use that for making a fin on a sailfish or something. So I just, I just hate to, I hate to throw anything away if it's wood. So I don't know. If you look in the scrap in the, the bucket, there's hardly anything. A few pieces of plywood, but that's it. The hard was I keep even the little scraps. Whatever. Oh well. Okay. So we got this laid out. I'm just gonna run a piece of. Like I said, this uh, plywood is uh, so unhappy with it splinter so easy. I'm just going to run a little bit of two-point paper along here to ease that edge. So I rub my, rub my hand on it, I'm not going to get a splinter. Boy, they were just all riddled with splinters the other day. Man, oh man, shit. So the other day, last night, actually yesterday, Thursday, was the last night of our uh, state boating class. Yeah. Happy to report that all 23 of our students passed the course with flying colors. That's great. I want to give a little shout out to our uh, Wayne County uh, Sheriff's Department who uh, assisted me in uh, teaching that class. Uh, so thanks a lot uh, to Officers Brent and Joe. So now, now I got to go over and get our, um, <clears throat> get our sapili and I'm going to lay those, lay that planking out here. So that's what's next on the agenda. And uh, actually before I get too far, I'm going to have to go buy some more glue. I ran out of glue the other day. Yeah. All right. So that's all we got for right now. I'll get back to you in a little while. Thanks a lot for watching. Okay, Captain Bob here again. Hey, we're getting ready to glue up our uh, hardwood, our hardwood, 
our Sapili hardwood onto the uh, sub base material for the uh, bar top. So we'll just uh, show you a little bit what's going on there and I'll be talking to you later. So I went over and bought this glue today. I'm going to try spreading it with a foam roller. I'm not sure how good that's going to work, but we're going to try it. If not, we'll always, uh, we can always resort to uh, one of our brushes. I like to get... Uh, Hope and get uh, glue on both surfaces. Don't want to get a lot of slap on the top, though. So this is our number one piece. Let's see how this goes here. Hmm.
Going there. Then I want to also do something like this on the other end there. Notice on the bottom that on our edge that we're going to use for the uh, router bit. A little bit of a uh, glue goober spilling, which I don't particularly like. Not much I can do about it right now, but uh, all right. I think uh, I'll just sit around and wait for this to dry. We'll take the clamps off in about an hour. Talk to you later. Adios.